Hey guys, what is up? My name is Josh Lutt and welcome to another Auto Hotkey tutorial video. And in this tutorial video, instead of showing you, you know, kind of how to do other features in Auto Hotkey, I'm going to get right into a little script that I'm going to show you guys how to make. Now this script's purpose is to uh, spam a, well in this case I'll give you the specifics. I made this program to spam the B-movie in chat of TF2, okay? And I'm going to show you how to make that. So if you want to follow along, uh, feel free to. So if you want to follow along, first thing you want to do is get up an auto, uh, sorry, get up Sublime Text. Done? Good. Now we're going to make, we're going to go right click, new auto hockey script, and we're going to call this Program Maker, because we need to make a program that makes a program that will have the ability to spam. So we're going to chuck this right here, and we're going to get this stuff at the beginning, which is all well and good. So let's start right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to, um, obviously we're going to need a source of input to get this um, script from. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new text document. This is what you're going to have to do as well. You have to make a new text document and we'll call it script. Inside here is going to be our actual B, that was a pun. And anyways, it's going to be our script. So we're going to go on the internet and we, you want to basically find the script you're using. I'm using the B movie, and I very recommend very, and I highly recommend using scriptorama.com. So this here is what we're going to use. Okay, this is the B movie script. So we're going to get the whole thing. So let's just highlight all of this, like so. Copy, and we're going to paste it into here, and save. Now, as you can see. There are lines here, okay? And we don't want these lines, these blank lines to be here. Also notice how right here, this is a double space, and there seem to be these, like, everywhere. And we don't want these, okay? Because these are going to stuff up our code. Now, don't forget, this is called script.txt. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to boot this back up here, and we're going to do the first thing, which is going to be file select. When you run this program, you're going to have the ability to select the text document that's going to have the script in it. So that is file, uh, select file, like so, comma. And now we're going to give it an output variable, which will be script directory. So this is going to be the directory of the actual B-movie script. Uh, comma, comma. Now in here would be options, but we're not going to use any. Uh, now we're going to get a underscore script dir because this here is the, let's say, the prompted location of the file. So when you get the, you know, the little open file box, it's going to automatically be where the program is running from. And now we'll get a prompt. So please select the file you want to, we'll call it source spam, full stop. And we'll prompt them to use only txt files. Now running this, just like this, you'll see that we get this little prompt up here. You see, please select the program you want to spam. Um, it'll say, it'll shop in the directory and it'll only want the TXTs. So that's good. Uh, now we're going to, what else is it? Okay, never mind. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go if script dir equals this, then we're going to exit app. And what this is going to do is if they do not put, see so if they hit cancel or they don't select a file, that means if scripter, which is the output here, equals nothing, exit the program. Now that we've done that, we're going to move on to the next step. We're going to go file, read, and we're going to call the, we'll call the output uh, variable read file, and percent script. And what this is going to do is it's going to read, obviously, it's going to read the file, it's going to output the contents to read file, and we're going to read from scripter, which is basically the user's selected file. And we're just going to go message box 36, which is... You, now, thir that's combining 34 and 2. 2 is yes and no, as opposed to OK. And 34 is a question mark, so we're going to go 36. And we'll make the um, title of this message box, which is called script. And we'll get the prompt. Are there any spaced lines? Now, what this means is, don't forget, before here, we have certain lines that aren't completely blank like this. We've got double spaces. 
And if we try and get rid of just these blank lines, it'll keep these. So what we we're giving the choice is if there are spaced lines, there might not be, but if there are, so we'll go message box, uh, no, we're going to go if message box yes, which means if obviously they click yes, we're going to run the script directory, and this will basically just get, give them a chance to check what line the space is, so what line maybe one of them is. So we'll go uh, run this, and we'll get an input box. And we've got all this good stuff, which I shouldn't have hit enter for. Output variable will be what line, and the title will be script again, and we'll go what line is it. Now what this is asking is, because we want to get rid of spaced lines. Now, unfortunately, auto hot here, at least I can't figure out a way to actually detect these by themselves. So we're getting the user, we're prompting the user to give us one, like a line number. So one, two, three, four, give us a line number that has spacing in it, and then it'll read that line and then get rid of everything or all lines that match that. So we'll go if, and now we're going to do an exclamation mark, which means if what, uh, if what line equals nothing. Now this is if it does not equal nothing, which means if they type in a number, so for the line number, then we go file read line actually, we'll output the contents of that line to the variable called line. It, we're going to be looking in the script direct, ooh, no, we want script dir. We're reading uh, from the file script dir, and the line we're going to read is going to be what line, which is what they've um, selected. And we're going to go string replace, and we're going to obviously, uh, we'll, call, we'll give, give an output variable called output, and it'll be called uh, read file, because that is, uh, no, okay, sorry, this is output, this is input. Read file is the output for the entire contents of the script, don't forget, up here. And we're going to replace um, the line contents that we've selected there that has the two spaces with, well, we, we could replace it with space, but we're going to replace it with nothing, and replace all of them. And I'm just going to duplicate this one more time. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take, we're going to get output here, which is the, the output variable we just uh, dealt with, so output. And we're going to save another output called output2. Okay, good. Everything's going good. Now, this is how to get rid of blank lines, okay? So if you want to jot this down for later use, you can. So we're going to go, um, I don't know what this is called. It's escape character, but you're going to go, that key, that symbol R, symbol N, symbol R, symbol uh, N. And what this is going to do is it's going to check for any blank lines, which means basically if they've returned and then gone to a new line, and then just returned a new line again, that means it's going to be a blank line, and we're going to replace it with just one of them. So we're going to go like this. Perfect. And we're going to get two of these, and we're going to output this. We're going to take the input which was the output before, and we're going to call this output here read file, or red file, I guess, however you pronounce that. And it's going to be exactly the same. And we're going to close that off, which is already closed off, actually. Like so. Now what we're going to do is, after if they don't click yes, all of this is going to happen if they click yes, but if they do not click yes, we're going to uh, get the same thing here. And we're going to uh, just get rid of these spacing here. We're going to go replace file. We're going to make the output variable called script. And the input variable will be read file. Now notice, if they do not click yes, they'll be dealing with the variable called read file. If they, and they'll edit that. If this thing does click yes, if the person clicks yes, it will remove the lines that we don't want. Do this once and then twice and output read file again. So either way, this here is going to happen. So once we've done this, we're going to go file, delete, so we can basically override this file, and we're going to get rid of um, this. We're going to get rid of their file, so the one that we selected, and then we're going to file append. Oops, what the heck did I do there? File append, and we're going to file append, 
the script, which is this is the new and improved one with no lines that we're outputting, and we're going to make it called output.txt. Uh, okay, so what this essentially is going to do is going to take the input. Actually, we probably even don't need to delete this, to be honest. And what the hell, we'll delete it. So, what this is going to do is it's going to take the input, so we're going to select a file. All of this is going to remove any blank lines and double spaces, and then create a new file called output.txt. That's the first step that we've done here. Next step is determining how many lines that this new script is going to have now with the compressed. So, we're going to go line num, so line number is going to equal 1 for now. And now we're going to loop. What we're going to loop, I'll tell you. We're going to, we'll just do tooltip first of all, and we're going to tooltip line num. And now you'll see what we're doing. So now we're going to go line num two equals line num plus one. And we're going to copy this three more times and just add a number onto all of these like this. So we're going to change this from two to three to four to five. So what we're doing now is we've got line num equals 1, line num 2 is line num plus 1, 3 is num plus 2, and so on and so forth. Now the reason I'm doing this, and I'm sorry, this is a horrible, very inefficient way of doing this, but in this script here, as you can see, if I search for something specific, you'll see, if I search for, uh, let me think, you got to snap out of it. Here we go. In the B-movie, there is this little fight between the two characters where they say, you snap out of it. And the way we are going to determine lines is when the script gets to the... I'm going to delete these, by the way, just do this, and I'll tell you why. When the script gets to the end of reading all of the lines, it just keeps returning the end line. So it'll return this line, and then when it tries to go to line 4554, five, four, it'll return this line, and so on, and it'll keep doing that. So, what the re so the way we're going to find out how many lines there are is we're going to check basically if the if the last three line grabs are the same or the last five by the looks of it we're going to get the last five of them and if they are all the same then we subtract five from that number that we get to and then say that that's our number so we're going to go file read line and we're going to call this line content uh, we're going to read it from out put dot txt and we're going to read line num now let's copy this three more times this is going to be line con actually this will be line content one two three four and we'll get one more for five uh, now this is going to be line num two three four and five uh, by the way I'll put the this auto hotkey file or at least, yeah, I'll put the auto hockey file and an exe if you want in the description below, just so you don't have to write all of this. So we're going to go if line content, now there's a lot of them, so if line content 1 equals line content 2, then go on to the next if. If uh, line content 2 is equal to line uh, content 3, then check if line content 3 is equal to line content 4. And then if line uh, content 4 is equal to line uh, content 5, then we break, which means we get out of this loop. It looks very, very long-winded, I know. Bear with me, okay? It's fine. So we're going to go, okay, let's make sure this is all spelled correctly. All of this looks to be in order, so... Yeah, that's all good. Lovely. Now what we're going to do is, um... After this bracket here, we're going to go line num equals line num plus one. And then down here we're going to go total... Oh, but, oh yeah, so what this is going to do is it's going to loop, it's going to get the nu line number one, first of all, and then it's going to set all of these, so this the line num will be one, this will be two, three, four, and five. It's going to read the output, and it's going to read the, the first five lines. If they're equal, then we don't. 
if they if any of these fail, we'll add a number we'll add another one to line num and it'll go all the way back to the beginning. So we'll keep going up. This doesn't really make sense. I'm horrible at explaining, but we'll go total lines equals line num, so we can remember this number. And that this here, this system, this convoluted system here, is going to determine how many um, how many lines there are in the, oopsie, in the new and improved script. So, oh yeah, uh, yeah, so this is all good, and ignore this, I apologize for that. There we go, okay, cool. So, oh uh, yeah, and this is going to have line num. Cool. Now we're on to the next uh, portion, this is the last portion of the script, okay? So we're going to go down here, and we're going to go file, append, now this is where we're going to create the program that's going to spam. Now this is very, this is going to need to change depending on what game you want to spam this in. I'm using TF2 for example, okay? I don't want to get kicked for spam, <laughs> ironically, so there's a time delay, and I'll get into that in a sec. I also want to be able to toggle this via a hotkey, so I run the program, and then when I'm in TF2, I can then click a button and it'll start spamming. So, and also, I need this program to obviously click Y to enable voice, uh, sorry, to enable chat mode, and then click enter at the end. So let's take this, let's tackle these problems step by step. So we're going to go file append, and I'm going to make the button that I want to start the script, I'm going to make it numpad clear. Now numpad clear is the number 5 when numlock isn't on, okay? So it would, it's the same as numlock 5. Actually, we'll, call, we'll go numpad 5. So numpad5, we're appending this stuff again, so it's going to be at the top of the script. We're going to go numpad5, and this is this is what we're going to need to do. We're going to have this, 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 and we're going to, that's what we need to append to the file. So, in order to do this, we're going to escape these characters here by putting little uh, escape, escape keys, and then we're going to have a new line appear here, and we're going to export this to program.autohotkey. Oopsie, there we go. This is what it's going to look like. We're also going to append. We're going to append a sleep at the beginning of the script. So we're going to sleep by two hundred, and then make a new line. This, by the way, means new line. <sighs> okay, here we go. Now we're going to go num. This is going to be. This is a different one. So we're going to go num equals one. Percent. We're going to call it perk. Percent equals. This is going. To, this is not going to make any sense right now, but bear with me. Percent equals num divided by total uh, lines times 100. This is going to give us a percentage. So if we're working through, let's say we're on number one, so line one. That's line one out of the total amount of lines times by 100 give us, gives us a percent. And now we're also we're going to round this number because it's a decimal at this point. So we're going to go percent equals round, and then we've got number in places. So we're going to round the, uh, we're going to round num, and if you leave it blank, that'll round it to one decimal place. The max, uh, time, the max amount of lines we're going to be writing is equal to the total lines plus one. The reason it's plus one is because over here we're going to go while, uh, num is less than max. This is so if there's any lag, it won't miss it. So if we were, if we were to have this total lines here at the same as max. If we had max at the same and we had an equals and the computer lagged, it would maybe miss it and then it would keep writing blank lines. We don't want that. So we're adding one more here. So if this goes over, doesn't matter if it lags because it'll go over and then it won't append. So uh, that's why that is. So we're still going here. So we're going to go if exist. And now this, you can actually find this, this little uh, script here, by the way, um, on the official auto hotkey website. This is just a cool little kind of a uh, loading bar thing, so we're going to go boop and paste this in, this will all be in the description, I'll just run through it, so if exist, here's a directory for a gif and a splash image, installation is uh, what the words are going to be on the screen and stuff, this here is also then going to be a progress bar, with all of this good stuff, I'm not going to be bothered explaining that bit, but now we've got this, while that is that, we're going to go progress, um, and then we're going to change the progress to the new percent. So if we've got a progress, the progress goes from zero to one hundred. This here is going to get this is going to get us a percentage for the, like the number of lines to the total amount of lines. We're rounding it to one decimal place, and we're going to set a progress bar to that decimal. To, no, to, sorry, to that rounded number. I think I said that right. We're going to go tooltip, which is the little. Uh, 
our little kind of like window little box that we can display variables and strings in. So we're going to go number and then we're going to go uh, total line. So what this is going to show up the top right, uh, top left, sorry, which uh, is at coordinates zero zero, is it's going to show the number that we're on and it's going to show the total number. So we'll know you know how close we are. And we've also got the progress bar. Once we've done that, we're going to go file read line. And we're going to read line and we're going to output this to line content again. And we're reading from out uh, put dot txt and we're going to read the num line. Here we go. We're going to go file and then we're going to file append. Now this line here is going to be very important, okay? What we want is if we've got the line hello world. What we want to convert this one line into is the following. We want it to send Y to enable um, chat mode. We're going to sleep for, uh, what is it, 500. So we're going to sleep for half a second. Then we're going to send this phrase here, sleep another 500. Send uh, enter, and then we're going to sleep for two seconds. And then it'll loop this every time we have a new line. So in order to do all of this, I'm going to leave this down here so you can see, we're going to go file append. Now, we're going to go send y. If we've got a new line, we're going to have this little symbol and n here. So we're going to go sleep 500, send, and then we're going to go line content like so. And we're going to sleep again for 500. And we're going to send enter. Enter, and then we're going to sleep uh, for that long, for two thousand milliseconds, which is a uh, which is two seconds, and we're going to append this to program, and we're going to have a little new line at the end, and we're going to output this to program dot a h k. So this is a very complicated, but you know it, it'll work. So that's good. So that's the line here. The next line now is after we've appended this, we're going to uh, add another number. We're going to add, we're going to increase num by one, and this is how to do that. We're going to go percentage uh, is equal to this. So we need to do this up here, down here, like so, uh, because obviously we 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 have to reset this number here every time. So we've got all of this looking good. This is all looking good. Yes, yes, yes. Oh yeah, we're rounding percent. We're setting percent to the round of percent. So actually, up here, percent is equal to round of num. And then, yep. Okay, that looks good. Now what we're going? Let me think. Let me think. Percentage equals that. We're going to round percent. Yes. Percent equals this. Why are we rounding num of all things? So we're going around percent up here. Okay, cool. Now that we've done that, we're going to, we're going to, what are we going to do? Uh, what do we need to do? That's it, actually. Now, at the very end, after it's appended all the lines, we're going to go file, append, uh, where are we? File, append, and we're going to make it so it closes the program, so exit app, and that's it. And we're going to go program.ahk. So we're going to append this to the end. Then we're going to also file append. So now, so that we can easily um, close this program if we don't want to annoy people, or we decide not to. We we're going to just enter a few lines here. Let's do three, and then we're going to make a hotkey for this. So it's going to be escape, and then exit app. So that's what we're going to append. So we need to go escape, and then we're going to go colon colon exit app, and we're appending this to program.ahk. After we've done that, we're going to turn the progress off, so we get rid of the little uh, progress bar on the screen. We're going to clear the tooltip, and we're going to have a message box that says the file has been created, exclamation mark. And then we're going to close the program once we've finished appending this. And then I just like to have this at the bottom of every script just in case something goes wrong. Now that all of this is out of the way, let's run the program and see if this works. So we've got this here with a whole bunch of weird lines and stuff. We're going to run the program here. 
I don't know. See, this is thin. Now, when something goes wrong like that, uh, it's it, we, we can always escape it. So let's see what happened there. So this happened. File select. Okay. Let me th let's try to run that again and see what happens. Okay, I don't know what happened. Is this still looking good? This is still looking good. Okay, cool. I don't know what happened there. But now we run this. It prompts for a TXT. We select script here and we click open. It says, are there any spaced lines? We hit yes. And it'll bring this up so we can actually count. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. This has got the double. So we're going to say line four and we're going to go okay. Now you can see the number is building up, and this is counting all the lines for output. It has somewhere around like 1,900, I think, if I remember correctly, something around there. So let's see if that's let's see where I'm correct. Six, seven, eight, nine. Boom. Cool. Now we're generating the actual script. Now you can see we've got. 19,000, uh, well, 1,969 lines, and this is currently working through all of those lines. So we're on 1, 000, uh, 1,400 right now. This is generating over here, and we're done. The file is being created. Now, let's have a look at what we've got. We've got the program maker, which we've just made here. The output of the actual script, which as you can see is just lines now, so we're all good. Now, what, now, just to make sure that the thing actually works correctly and you've got every line, what you want to do is before you run the program, you want to see the very last line, which is I virtually had no rehearsal for that. And then you want to check the program we've just made. Now, by the way, this is quite a hefty file, so when you run this in, it's going to have to load. There we go. And as you can see, we sleep for 200... Now, actually, no, I just realized something. This is something you want to, you want to fix quickly. So up here, we want to append 2,000. Easy fix. So all we're doing is when we click numpad5, we sleep for two seconds, send y, send the first line according to all laws, hit enter, wait two seconds of aviation, and so on. If we check the very bottom, I had I virtually had no rehearsal for that. We sleep, and we close the program. And this, my friends, is the program. Now let's have a look at it in action. And we're back, guys. So we're going to find a uh, good, 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 good service. We'll go on a... Uh, one of these, I think, we'll get one with a lot of people on, like, 14 out of 32. SC Gaming, Trade, Rapid Fire, Infinite Ammo, Plus Trade. That seems like exactly what I want. Okay, get out, potato. Okay, here we go. Connect. And I'll see you on the other side. Wait, wait, what's this? Downloading maps, payload, race, high tower, TDM... R4A3BSP.BZ2. I wanted to trade Minecraft server, not this. Continue, we're gonna join this team right here. Then we're gonna go scout. I don't know what happened here. I don't know. Okay, I think we're gonna stand right here. We've got a Carlton. Hello, everybody. Well, this guy seems very nice. Oh, jeez. Oh, crap. What is going on? Help. Help. <laughs> Program glitched out. Okay, here we go. There we go. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting into it. is how you make a spammer program with auto hotkey. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.